Hi guys, and welcome back to Salazar's Mutations with me, Hal, Dilly P, and Lucas behind the camera. And we apologise for not having a video over the past month because there are some thieving scumbags in our area. And today we're just going to update you on everything that we've been doing, seeing as you've not had a video from us in a while. And yeah, we're just going to update you. So I think we'll start off by showing you um, all the new snakes we've bought over the past few weeks that we've not shown you yet. And we'll take it from there. Right guys, what we've got here, this is a pasta 100% het lavender albino. He's a male, he's 3 years old, he weighs at about 1200 grams. The reason we bought him is a proven male breeder, as well as for future projects, because we're looking to get into the lavender albino game within the next year or the year after. Uh, this one came from NMP Ball Pythons, as well as a few more that we'll show you in a minute. But yeah, he's such a beautiful animal. And yeah, take a look at him and we'll bring out the others. So yeah guys, this is Milkborn. He's a vanilla pastel lesser yellow belly. Um, I also got him from NMP Ball Pythons as well. Oh, he's just escaping there. I'll bring him back in. But I got him from NMP as well. Um, but he's an absolute beautiful snake. He's about two or three years old as well. Um, he, he, he said he's an absolute breeding machine and I know why. Um, I'll let you know that in the second part of the video. But yeah, I bought him as a backup male. For my breeding plans this year and um he's been uh, very good for me so yeah this is milkborn i'm gonna put him back because it's getting quite lively now I'm trying to escape this tub and uh i'll get him put back and uh go get another one hey guys this is an albino pinstripe. The albino is clear to see with the red eyes, yellow body, all that, you know what I mean. The pinstripe's a bit difficult, however, he does have two lines going down the back. He's a male, he's also about a year old. We were told he were a hit and miss feeder, but that's before Sapphire Royals got him. Now, they've done some magic. They've had him, they've worked him, and he's eating consistently, he's amazing. And, um, yeah, what? Oh, look, look at him. Wait, we're not too sure about but we will get on to that, because we always do. The reason we got him, well, just take a look at him, he's an amazing snake. And both genes we want to work with in the future, because, well, yeah, we could pull some crazy things off. As we said, we got him from Sapphire Royals, and again, shout out to them, they showed us the facility, and it's amazing. We'd like to have some of that art for ourselves one day. Guys, this is Lucy, our blue-eyed Lucy. She is possible banana and pinstripe, but yeah, look at her. She is, for me, the pinnacle of our collection. I put a deposit down on her over two months ago. It's been about two and a half months, and I've waited and I've waited. Um, she was just being a bit of a picky eater, but they said she's had five consecutive feeds, and they're happy for her to come home, so I went and got her. She's pretty much exactly what I want to work with, with the, with, with the genes, so I'm super happy with her. And she's a female, so I'm really, really excited to see what she's going to, you know, what, what, what she can do for us in three or four years' time. Um, she's only a couple of months old herself uh, right now, so we're talking way in the future. Um, but yeah, you, you can see why we wanted her. She's an absolute beautiful, beautiful snake. I've, I've Honestly, words cannot describe... This snake, every time I pull her out, every time I look at her, I'm absolutely in awe with how beautiful she is. And, uh, yeah, we just we just can't wait to see what she can bring us. Um, is there anything you want to say about this snake, Dilly? What's not to say about this snake? Wow, it's like a black eyed Lucy, but with blue eyes. She's amazing. Just really, as like, soon as she gets older, oh, my God, it's going to be amazing. Look at her head right now, little little pink on her head, white body, and her, oh. She's amazing. And that's all I've got to say. So, guys, this is a banana we got from r, &R in Liverpool. We got him because he was breeding age and we was also picking up our blue-eyed Lucy at the same time. Also, we got our super fire from them, so we know the quality is super good. But regarding the breeding, I'll let Hal talk to you a little bit about that. No. Yeah, guys, so as Dylan was saying, we got him um, because... He, he was breeding it from R&R, shout out to R&R again for some absolute beautiful snakes, we were absolutely mesmerised with them. 
Um, but yeah, um, me and Dilly decided that we should have a do at having a breeding season this year. Um, and that's why we've been so busy, we've not uploaded in a while. Um, and this is our update to let you know what's going on. Um, we paired up our, well our plan was to pair up our three um, hepides, one pastel hepide with two normal hepides with um, a fire hepide that was, it was about 750-800 grams. Um, however, he is, I, f I feel like he might be a bit too young, um, but he's just not going. Um, and that's when our milk bond, who we showed you earlier, the vanilla pastel lesser yellow belly came in because he was my backup male. And we was told he's an absolute breeding machine, and he is, because he locked onto all three females within the first three, within the first week or two. Um, locked on. I've we've had our first locks. We've witnessed them. They've been absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, he locked onto them. And he's doing fine, he's been eating, I've been taking him out, feeding him, he's been eating fine. My big females are eating fine as well for now. Um, and then, I picked him up a few weeks ago and uh, thought, you know, seeing as my project or what our plan was for this year, for the Hep Pides to Hep Pides for some hopeful Pides, um, has gone down the drain for now, in case the fire doesn't you know if, if the fire doesn't go then um, it's, it's that's a next year thing but I thought well we'll go for an Easter egg lucky dip kind of thing and I bought him and I've paired him up and he has shocked me he has locked on to females for two days straight like I go and check him and he's locked like literally 10 minutes after I've put him with him and I'll go back in the morning and he's still locked, I'll go back at night, he's still locked, I'll go back the next day, he's still locked. It, honestly, 48 hours at least for each female he's locking on to. Um, so yeah, we have witnessed our first locks, we are on the journey for some eggs hopefully, and we hope to keep you updated as we go along. Um, so yeah, with how we... Uh, how we've calculated it, we should have some eggs end of January, end of January through February, maybe early March. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled, guys. So yeah, guys, that's been it from us at Salazar's Mutations. We hope you enjoyed the video, but before we go, take a look at this Salazar's Mutations merch coming very soon. Giveaways the lot. Stay tuned for it. Instagram, go check us out on that Facebook group. Go join that new Facebook page coming soon. Like the video, comment on the video, turn on bells for notifications, tell your friends about the video, tell your friends to tell your friends about the video, and praise. Crack is a hell of a drill.